The reason I stopped was because I seven shows on TV all at once. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Please give it up for Steve Harvey one time. Give it up for Steve Harvey. He's an excellent comedian. One of the finest we've ever had. But he don't want no parts of this in any way, shape, or form. This is some other shit. Yeah. I don't know why he came out here yeah. with all this money y'all spent on them motherfucking tickets and talked about a lady in the audience for 15 goddamn okay. minutes. Nigga should have talked about me the way I've been and talked about his bitch man. Oh! Nigga, the fucking been that court championship, my nigga. You did. You did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you see that nigga had to take off that lace front high top fade for he came out here to battle me, goddamn. I plays no motherfucking game, Steve. Yeah. I'm a little nigga. I fight dirty. <laughs> You did. You did, baby. What the fuck is he thinking about? Man, he tried to copy all me and bring that ugly ass, sparkly ass tie out. With a regular black suit like he was going to a funeral. <laughs> yours, nigga, yours. I don't even think I give a fuck. I give less than a fuck. Whatever less than a fuck is. You the one came out here and told jokes about if a bitch lick you on the left lip or you buy that bitch a car. If yeah, that ain't the trickiest shit I ever heard. Hey! Bitch, you can suck my dick with the Holy Spirit in your mouth. I ain't buying you a goddamn car. I ain't even gonna give you a ride. <laughs> It's a generation gap. It's a damn generation gap. He was the shit because he was a shit in 1968. Nigga, I'm the shit this right, evening, right. my nigga, this evening. I know my niggas is up in here. I ain't got to ask. I ain't scared about being in a motherfucker round. I go round this bitch as long as this bitch go round. Where you at, Steve? Look at me and said, I don't like him. I said, I don't like him either. <laughs> Let's fast forward it to when this disrespectful nigga did something called the original Kings of Comedy. Oh. As if Richard Pryor didn't live and walk this very same. Hey. How the fuck you gonna be the original King of Comedy, nigga? Did it start with you, you disrespectful son of a bitch? Hey. Richard Pryor, not Bill Cosby, Steve Harvey is the original King of Comedy. You the goddamn liar. How you original you ain't the first one. Oh. <laughs> then the nigga told me that he, he didn't know nothing about this. And if you listen to his show, you know that nigga's a liar straight up and down. He waited until I said this was gonna be my last show. After 18 years. He he waited for that and saw that as a moment of weakness and decided he was gonna make it a championship. But then the nigga couldn't sell out the tickets necessary. <laughs> Damn. Do you think that nigga wanted to be here with me this evening? Frankie Beverly and Mays. So he could have had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.